what's happening guys welcome back welcome back to another one hope all is well i'm just making sure that the uh audio levels are good it looks like they are so we're gonna get into another live um, practice reaction i would have did it last night but um i was running behind but i want to give a um, live reaction to the practice um warren sap is definitely making his presence known and i want to go to an article here it said um I want to go to um, an article on Warren Sapp. And also, I want to read an article that said that the spring game is not on pace to sell out. So we're going to look at that. Now, this one article here says Warren Sapp salary details emerge. But is it a bargain for Deion Sanders in Colorado? Yeah, it, he did come out of bargain. I just want to say that. Just his presence being out there alone. Um, let me just show you the headline. Just his presence out there alone is worth way more than um, what they're paying him. He's worth way more than they're paying him. And um, I'm, I can already see in practice that he he's making his presence known. His presence is being felt. That defensive line and shit, even the offensive line, um, appreciate that he's there. Um, so, yeah, make no mistakes about it. I'm not going to go through the article, but I just wanted to say that. Did they get him at a bargain? Of course they did. And um, so we're going to see what happens this season. Um, this team is still in year two. I have to keep remembering that. This is still a year two team. Uh, Coach Prime took over the team last year, right? This is second year. Um, are they expecting a natty this year? Yeah, of course. I mean, everybody plays expecting a natty, but uh, how realistic is that? Um, is that obtainable? with the roster that they have right now, because they're still in the rebuilding process. Remember he, he brought, he, he didn't bring quite as many people that he did last year, but he still brought in a, um, quite um, a few players this year and you still got to see how they're going to gel together, but all questions will be answered um, once the season start. Okay. Is this plan going to work this time? Uh, Pat Shermer is the new um, off offensive coordinator. Okay, we have a new defensive coordinator in in place. How is this all going to work? So we're going to see. But um, I, I'm hopeful that, um, like I said, the, the minimum I said eight games, the ceiling is 10. That's just me personally. And I know it's too too early to really even say that. But I think from what I've been hearing, a lot of people say eight games. Some people say seven. Some people even say six. I mean, six games, you're bowl eligible. But. Um, I would say they did address a lot of the issues that they had last year. And um, bringing in Warren Sapp actually helps. Why do I say that? Because of the the, no, the wealth of knowledge that he has playing the defensive line is going to help these young men out. So with that being said, and then they have the offensive line looking, looking pretty good, I would say that um, the minimum is eight. Eight games and the ceiling is ten. 10 games is a really good season, especially in year two. So, yeah, that's for Warren Sapp. Uh, this other article here, it says Colorado on, excuse me, Colorado not on strong pace to sell out the spring football game. So it said not on strong pace. I don't know if it was because it's year two. Last year there was a lot of um, excitement because Coach Prime came in. Um, do I think this spring game going to sell out? It might. It might sell out, um, especially they having this this whole weekend um, coming up. I'm surprised they um not expecting to sell this game out. I thought I was going to go to this game, but it looks like I'm not going to be able to attend April 27th. But we'll see. We'll see. I may still be able to attend, but we'll see. I'm thinking I'm saving it for the actual season because I really want to go when the games count. Um, I mean, the spring games, yeah, they're, they're, it's good, but I want to actually go um, to a real game, you know. Um, so that's why I think I'm going to hold out. That's my reason. So it says here there's still plenty of tickets available for Colorado's black and gold game on April 27th. And on Tuesday, Buff Zone's Brian Howell reported that just over 18,000 tickets had been sold for head coach Deion Sanders' second spring game leading um, leading the Buffs. 
Braving the Snow, 47,277 fans attended last year's spring game. So unless a significant surge occurs over the next two weeks, Folsom Field may not be sold out uh, for the second straight spring. Let me just stop there real quick. 47,277. That's a lot of people from last year. Why? It was a lot of excitement. You know, Coach Prime and who he is, you know, Hall of Famer, um, the celebrity, you know, the storyline, everybody was interested. So we're going to see what happens. Um, Do you guys think that this game could sell out? That's my question to you right now. And also for the guys that's listening, for everyone that's listening, um, please like, comment, share, subscribe. All that would be greatly appreciated. So what do you think? Do you actually think that – do you actually think this game going to sell out? That's that's my question to you right now. And um, I don't know. So let me let me just look here because I'm, I'm really into numbers. Let me see. Um, I really wanted no, my cell phone is dead. Let's see. Give me a second here. I like crunching numbers. Uh, let's see. Where is the article? I'm damn, I'm losing the article. Okay. Let's just do, let's just look at this. I like to go by percentages. Um, I honestly think they probably still can. I don't know. I don't know why. I think they still can. Uh, let me see. And what is today's date? Well... Today is the 12th. I don't know. I was just looking. I was trying to look at their stats. I was trying to look up their stats from last year at this at this particular stage in the game. They may, if they have a surge. I can't find it. I had the, I had a website. I think it was on my um my iPad. I had a website that broke down the um that crunched the numbers from last year. I don't know if they had 18,000. I don't think, I don't know if it's going to sell out by the end of the month. Um, I know Coach Prime had just recently uh, said that he want uh, people to come out. He, and he was talking about the the shows and activities they're going to have. I'm just not, I don't know if I'm just the people up there. I don't know if they're going to be interested in Lil Wayne. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But we'll see if it sells out. But, um, Last year, I'm thinking it just sold out because of the um, because it was the first year and uh, people didn't know what to expect. The team was doing so bad for the past number of years. So, you know, it was a new opportunity and the people just wanted to come out. So I think the newness kind of wore off a little bit uh, for the spring game. I think people what I'm trying to say is I think people will really want to save their money for the games. Because I was thinking about going to the spring game, then I was like, nah, I'd rather go to the game. So I think that may be what it is. But we'll see if they sell out, though. It says tickets for this year's spring game became available on April 1st. Yeah, it's the 12th now, so I don't know. Much later than um, last year on February 13th. The reason why it came earlier this year, because their season start earlier. Also, tickets are significantly excuse me, are slightly more expensive than this year's for $15. Uh, for bowl, $15 for bowl seating, $25 for Byron White's East Club seating, and $5 for students. Uh, last year, the CU Gold admission tickets um, for $10, and students were able to attend for free. That could be it. That could be it right there. There was a lot of people that could attend for free. Um, yeah, I'm thinking that it might be the, it might be the price, man. So kickoff is on April 27th is set for 1 PM mountain time with the PAC 12 network providing, um, television coverage. Uh, yeah. So I don't, I don't think it's going to be sell out, but 18,000 for me is still a lot of people for a spring game. 
So, you know, I always like to look at the um, the brighter side. And I think add a few more thousand onto that. And I think that's how many people are going to attend. So, yeah, man, those are the spring game uh, numbers there. So what do we have here? Let's get into the message. Let's go there first. Good. I love where we're headed. I love where we're going. And I do feel like we're going to get there. But there's a multitude of men, as well as coaches, as well as staff members in this room right now that has the propensity to complain. What's complaining? Especially to express the satisfaction or annoyance about something. Complain. To express grief, pain, or discontent, to find fault, to accuse someone of wrongdoing. Complain. Not just here in the building, but with your personal life, with your private life, with your financial life, with school, with your academics, with your education, with somebody in this building, you have the propensity to complain. Next. The more frequent you complain, you increase your likelihood of thinking negative thoughts. Complain. Complaining is a negative evaluation of a situation. I wonder what he's with, like, who is he with reference? Somebody must be complaining. Um, Because at the end, he says that, you know, when they're outgoing, they have a lot to say. And um, how come they didn't say nothing before? Well, my thing is, I don't think anybody coach is going to come up to you and complain or say anything to you. I think you're just going to lose you. Some people you're just going to lose just going out the door. I don't think people will just because of who you are. I don't think they're just going to come to your um, office and say they're not getting playing time and complain about it. I don't think that's what's going to happen. Um, I think they're just going to leave whoever it is. Um, but, yeah, people do want to play and everybody do might feel like they're the man. So th this is a good problem to have on a team when you got so many people especially at the safety position, you have a lot of people, man. And then um, he's going to talk to Charlie Orfendahl in a minute. Charlie has been killing it in practice from what I see. And he's been doing it since last year. And he's not really getting that many touches on the ball, but um, he's not complaining, but I'm pretty sure he would like to run that ball. And um, yeah, so I don't think people are actually going to go to the head coach and complain. I don't, I don't see that happening. Um, people are just, you know, maybe might say things on their way out, but I don't think you're going to get people to, uh, come to you and voice their concerns. Um, as far as like about playing time, me personally, I'm old school. I like to show that I can play, uh, through my actions on the field, but you, you know, you got an environment where everybody thinks they're the man and everybody do want to play. So, yeah, man. I wonder who complained, though. Service, experience, or commodity. We're just talking about the word complain. Next one. When you complain, it normally means you're frustrated, disappointed, or angry. Just think about it. What was the last time you complained? What were you complaining about? And I'm sick of somebody in a multitude of people always playing like they're the victim. that everybody has some kind of way transpired against you to get you out of here. When this is one of the most welcome and generous, blessed places that they are, because we give you a multiplicity of opportunities. He's addressing something that recently happened. We're never going to know who he's addressing, but he's addressing an incident. Um, somebody probably left and um, had something to say. Or they're trying to say that um, they, um, probably people are stacking against them to run them out of there. But yeah, he's he's addressing this for a reason. But we won't. We're not going to know what is what is he talking about. Have we not? Who hadn't gotten reps? Who hadn't gotten the chance this year? The previous year? Who hadn't gotten the chance to be that dude that they really want to be? I got time today. Now, some people in here have the propensity, they have the audacity to do so, and I'm proud of them because they had. I think Charlie, Charlie, stand up. I think Charlie is a dog. Yes, sir. 
I think if we give Charlie 25 carries, Charlie gonna get 125 yards. So are you are you guys gonna give it to him? Do anybody in disagree? Now, if he were complaining, I would say, you know what, Charlie, you got a point there. Sit down, Charlie, please. All right, wait, 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 wait. If he's a dog, if he's a dog, and you're saying that if he if he carried a ball a certain amount of times, he's gonna get a hundred and some yards. You got to work Charlie in the game. If that's the case, if you really feel like he can do it, you got to work him in the game. And then now, like, see, this will set it up where people are like, how come Charlie's not playing? Not me, but um, the people that are looking to uh, find a reason to tear Coach Prime down, they're going to come to him and say, you the one said he's a dog. How come he's not playing? How come he don't have a scholarship? You know, you you said last year he if he keep doing this and doing the right things, he'll get a scholarship. How come he hasn't gotten a scholarship if he's a dog? This is what people are gonna use against him. Mark my words. They're gonna they're gonna try that. They're gonna try to use it against him. But the thing is, you gotta look at it on multiple multiple sides here. The running back room is stacked. When I say stacked, it's from number one all the way down. Charlie is the last running back. Okay, I'm just going to say that. Michael Welch is before him. I just, I'm just i just seeing how this is playing out. But Charlie's a dog, though. Char- that means he has to get some type of playing time if he is. But sometime, like you got um, schools like Alabama, they got all the dogs on their team. Everybody's not going to play. You don't have enough. You don't have enough uh, football to go around. Now, if they're in a situation where they're blowing a team out, then Charlie will get in. You know, you know, you see what I'm saying? You just can't play everybody, even though he's a dog. But what they're going to do is, see, everybody knows that. You can't play everybody, right? But it's a good thing to have when you got so many good, talented running backs, right? But you just can't play everybody. But what they're going to say is, well, you said Charlie's a dog. How come he can't play? The reason being is because you got McCaskill, Edwards, um, Michael Welch, Savion Wilkerson, and Charlie Orfendahl. So, and whoever else they bring in. So it's kind of hard to get playing time. This is not the only college that's going through this. All other colleges are going through the same thing. We we talked about before how stacked Alabama is. Alabama is really stacked. Everybody's not going to play. So, but they don't see it that way. They're going to use that. I'm telling you they are. I could just see the writing on the wall um, going down the season. That's that much. And he's a walk-on that, that, that probably should be on scholarship amongst many others. They don't complain. The building is beautiful. Everything here is beautiful. I don't. I was told one time that closed mouths don't get fed. So, what what happens if they don't complain though? But they come to you and say, "Coach, what what happens, Coach? If Charlie come to you and say, Coach, I'm doing everything you you ask me to do. You say I'm a dog. You say that if I get these certain amount of carries." I'll get a hundred yard cart coach. I need a, I need a scholarship coach or I can't be here. I need a scholarship. I mean, the, the tuition is expensive. I need a scholarship. Like, what do I have to do at this point to get a scholarship? My grades are on par. Um, I'm doing everything in practice. What do I have to do? See, that's not complaining. That's actually going to the coach and saying, look, this is what I need. Um, can I get a scholarship please? And see what he say. But complaining, nobody responds to complaining. Um, it's a way to do it. See, I'm, I'm saying that um, to prove a point. You don't have to complain. You, you just have to go to the source and lay your issues out on the table. And that's not complaining. But when you're going, when you're parting ways and you're saying, well, I was, uh, I was this and I was that. It's, uh, this is how it was and this is how it was. That's not how to do it. If you feel like you have a grievance, write it down and then go to your positional coaches or whatever the case is and say, listen, what do I need to do here? 
I'm doing everything right. What do I need to do to play? And then they'll tell you, okay, well, we're, I'm going to continue to do that. I would like a scholarship, please. And then if they say no, then then you you have your answer. Um, but complaining definitely with this environment, complaining is is not going to get you playing time. It's definitely not going to get you playing time in this environment. This is an old school environment, and um, you're not going to. It's not going to help you. But you got to do everything professional. So this is like. You know, I'm talking about for the players that like they want to know what do they have to do. You have to go to your positional coach and figure out what's going on. Closed mouths don't get fed, folks. You have to open your mouth. Like you you really do. I'm not trying to give a lecture here, but for young people, do not be afraid to open your mouth. But it's how you say it, it's how you present it. It's that means everything. You gotta present it well. I don't know how many places you've been, but this is one of the most beautiful football facilities that I've been in, that I've been a part of. Nevertheless, you complain. The root of complaining, a complaint is a significant gap between expectation and reality. Some of you, your expectation is crazy, and your reality is far-fetched. Next. Over time, complainers become negativity addicts. Attracted to drama that comes with a complaining attitude. Complainers seek a short-term reward or feeling superior towards those around. They yeah, see- he's talking about complaining. Like I said before, you got to figure out a way to articulate yourself and get your point across. Because when you complain, it's not going to help the situation. It really isn't going to help the situation. So you got to, you know... Um, you got to present yourself well and say, these are my concerns and how can we address them? But, you know, it's all about how you say, how you present yourself. So remind, remember that um, for whoever young that's listened to this video in the future. But he's talking about somebody. Seek to destroy the people they deem a threat. Is that the last one? Complainers. This is the last one. Complainers don't win. And winners don't complain. All of you have said, uh, many of you that said you've been on winning programs, whether it's Pee Wee League or uh, high school or whatever. Did you deal with a bunch of complainers? What is there to complain about? I got time today. Anybody tell me, talk to me. How's the, how's the food overall? Chef just easy it on in and we're chef. He just walked, brought the stuff. How's the food overall? Pretty good? Awesome. Sir, it's great. Awesome. <clears throat> How's the locker room? Great, great. How's the practice fields? I think we're going outside today, aren't we? I checked the weather. I think it's going to be 45, 50, so you know, I, I can go outside for 50. I can't go outside for that. But I look out for you because I look out for me. <laughs> <laughs> and we're from Florida, ain't we, Sap? Yes, sir. Okay, so we ain't going to go out and complain, so we're going to make sure the environment is strict. Is there anything? What about your, your equipment? Uniform. Great. I'm going to tell you something, Coach. No one, if they have any type of complaints right now, they're not going to tell you. This is not the environment for them to tell you. They're not going to tell you. These are young people. You got to understand. These are young men. They don't, They like some people that may have been complaining, they don't know how to articulate. They got to learn how to articulate it and come to the positional coach You know, it has to work up the chain of command, right? You don't just go to the head coach, or maybe you can, but you go to your positional coach or whoever your counselor is, and you go and you work your way up with your your concerns. And then it won't be perceived as complaints. But when you're you're outgoing and you say things like this, then that's how they're going to perceive it. But, yeah, coach, they're not going to tell you anything right now, coach. They're just not. All right, let's go. What what else is it that we could possibly complain about? So the only thing that we could really narrow this thing down that you could complain about is your productivity and your participation. That's where the complaints come in, correct? How we see you is probably not how you see yourself. (laughs) Got a whole new line here, right? We got. 
See, that's the thing right there. See, that's how you got to go to your positional coaches to have that meeting to see where you stand. Because he said, how we see you is probably not how you see yourself. So that's a situation where, like I said, they would have to go to their positional coach to figure out where they stand. And, uh, yeah. Thank a few gentlemen from last year, correct? Did we tell the others to leave? No. Why were they complaining on the way out? Anybody else? Receive? Hey, let's have a great day. Okay, so he he said right there some people complain on the way out. All right, let's get to the crowd. Nice catch. Look at Charlie. I think that's Charlie, right? Yeah. Got to close that one, you know what I'm saying? What happened on that one? I let him fuck me out. I let him fuck me out. Okay, all right. No, that was a three. The three didn't come down. It was the one had and the one in between. Yeah, I was right there. It wasn't between. It wasn't there. That was you Marion putting in the work. Nice run. McCaskill looking good, isn't he? Nice. Run. Put in the work. That would have been a sack. That would have been that right there. That would have been a sack that could have got him hurt. Man, if they were hitting the quarterbacks. Back in the day, they used to be able to hit the quarterbacks. But not anymore. Look at this. He didn't, he wouldn't, even, he, he wouldn't have saw it coming. Who's got contain? Who's got contain? That's not a that's not an analyst there. That's a coach. <laughs> but yeah, his presence is being felt. Oh, nice cat. Marion doing his thing. Nice, that's a nice play. That's um Shane Coke. Shane Shane Coke doing the thing. That's that man's presence. I'm telling you. McCaskill getting his receiving skills together. Um, McCaskill in his live chat, he was saying some things that he had to work on. 
was getting ready for the catch, his receiving skills. So they're going to use him a lot. He's an all-purpose back. They're going to use him a lot um, catching the ball as well. He looks – he got the bounce back. He's ready to go. Hey, Ted. And we just getting started, you know. We're only in friend training. Oh, Travis. You see how he's hold up, hold up. Let me let me show you how you're looking at him. Look how you're looking at him, man. He's he listen, he's gonna get that defensive line together. Make no mistakes about it. And let me go back to what I said in the beginning. Colorado, you got him at a very cheap price. Very cheap price because everybody acting like they don't know who this guy is, man. Look at look how he's going up to him and look how he's looking at him. He he wants that intensity for the whole game. He's gonna make sure they're intense for the whole game. Look how intense he is. how intense he is and the passion he got for the game is going to rub off on him. I'm telling you it is. He, he trained some quarterbacks. Defense on the field. Our coach looking he wants to be out there man <laughs> coach getting that itch man coach getting that itch i remember he went up to number 10 he said i just want to put my hands in your chest one time and see how it feel he get that itch i just want to say again that i was um talking about from earlier these coaches respect the old school way if you got a problem with anything on the team go to the coaches you know what I'm saying? Man to man and, and and share what's going on. Don't go, don't leave the team and start, you know, mouthing or whatever. Don't do it. Not with these old school type of coaches. They want you to do it the old school way. But um, yeah, man, getting back to this, you you see he got that itch. He, I could tell by the way he's looking. He's like, man, I would love to be out there. These guys will play the game for free. That's how much they love it. Nice catch, Remember what I said about Horn. He's going to have a really good season. Omarion, oh, too. They're running it up. 
Number 10. He's going to have a good one. From the 10. They got the 10 to Hardaway. Name them after me. Name them after me. Anthony Hardaway, man. Anthony Hardaway, respect to the GOAT. Yeah. Come on, Skip. Oh, oh yes, though. Yeah. You weren't gonna touch it, Tony. You weren't. Nah, he took it. 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 Like just in case the child is thinking about something. Oh, we got to get Travis messed up because he's 190 pounds. He's ready to okay, fight okay. somebody now. Okay, Matthew. Oh, shit. DJ, say no more. Matthew's going to be that field. I'm going to go to shotgun. Right, 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 right. Oh, and by the way, Mathis have a clothing line out, I see now. So, yeah, uh, shout out to, um, yeah, what's the name of the clothing line? Uh, what was it? It's something about him being quiet. Um, the quiet assassin, the quiet riot, or uh, quiet assassin. I gotta figure it out. I think I, it's the quiet something with Caleb Mathis. Shout out to Caleb Mathis, got the clothing line out. Do he got a website? But, um, I'll find out as we look at this. Not Jared. I hear him. Mario, I'm just putting that work in. Get it now. Get it now. Get it now. You can catch me. Nobody touched me, man. Daddy boy. I'm sure as hell seeing a lot of rock. Rock definitely going to see that field, too, I think. Let's get into the uh, let's get into um, Sap and his element here. Shout out to Bucky with the well off media clips. Who walking? Who walking? Who, who walking? Let's go. You hear him? Who wants it? Let's go. training some assassins he's crazy he's training some assassins right now see that see what he's saying he gonna get that kid in the nfl that's who he's working with i see him talking to him a lot Rip and reach. Damn, he's big man right here. Got that? Yeah. All the runners got that. Every five yards. I mean, he's working with everybody, um, but I'm just saying from this clip, I see. Come on now. Come on, y'all. At the ten yards. Come on. But you got to square up, Tajay. Square. Back behind you. Keep the back behind you. It's Tristan. It's three of them, dude. Oh, there we go. Go. Be in. Don't be in a hurry. Don't be in a hurry. Exactly. Don't be in a hurry. Stay behind him. 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 Stay behind
Josh right there. 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 Right talking to him he's, he's zeroed in on big man come on, come back, come back. i'm expecting big man to have a good season then You see how he talked, see how he went over to Shane and see how he was talking to him. That means everything, man. He's really helping. He's he matters. He matters. I'm telling you, do remember that when I said that that defensive line is going to go on a tear this year? You see how you see how he going over to him and giving him encouragement, slapping his hand. That's what the coach is supposed to be doing, man. Look at this. Hey, you ass outside, dog. How do you think Shane Phil got that Hall of Fame in his face? How do you think he feel right now? He gonna bring it to another level. God give everything to be out there playing for him. Not he definitely bring a different energy to that line now. They can't wait to show up to practice. You see how he, he zeroed in on 92? Let's go. 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 Come on, get the feet together. Get the feet together. Rip, rip, ripping up. Damn block. Rip, rip, rip. Get down. Oh, man. There we go. That was going to be the best getting off. Get your ass on top. Hey. Ah, there we go. There we go. You ain't right doing like it. Make it fun. There you go. He's really the coach for him. Just letting y'all know that. He really is the coach. Good job, big boy. You see how he go, you see how he go up to people and that mean everything, man. Yeah. See how he's coming at you? You see how he's coming at you? Hey, hey, guys. Hey, let's go. 
Let's go. D block on three. One, two, three. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What have you done that you could do better? Think about that in your mind and let's do it better today. Sir. All right, you have a three, four, five plays, right? Yes, sir. So we should be full speed. Yes, now let's hold each other accountable to go full speed. We got it? Yes, sir. My corner's going to lock him down. The safety's going to bring that hat. Linebacker's going to be where they're supposed to be. Defense line going to do their thing. Am I right or wrong? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Am I right or wrong? Right, right, right. Go three, six mafia. Three, three six mafia. Hey, man, it's a fuck boy. Let's go beat their ass, man. Let's go. Hey, what's going on? One, two, three. Three, six mafia. What are you talking about? He for real. He say to him, let me stop. He was like, he said, I see something in you now. He been watching them. Coach, you know, these old school coaches, they see everything. Don't think that they don't. He was like, Yeah, I got something for you now. Special teams. He's going to get out there and play this. He's going to get out there and Okay, Mario. Okay. Yes, no doubt. All right, cushions for the push. Who got job? Hey, let's go. The three, you say you got both back. JJ. Okay, yeah, we're between the two tackles. Yeah, it was 52 and JJ. Yeah, two trees. Yeah, we had two trees now. I'm coming to the show. You didn't fucking know. You didn't fucking know. Oh, it's just working out. Yeah. 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 This is going to get, I'm telling you, everything I know, this is going to get this kid to the next level. Just have him in your face like this. Every time. So I got you, we don't play. That's the accountability you're talking about. Well, make me start making a bunch of uh, shorts on Warren Sapp highlights. I'm sure they, I'm sure that, I'm sure these young guys already went and researched them. Oh, y'all? Let's go here. All right. <laughs> Man, that was nice. Come on, Cam. Getting a little hit, man. Come on, Cam. Come on, Cam. Come on, Cam. Come on, Cam. Come Get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. Come this perspective man like the camera angles and stuff is really like you they're giving us a lot here even though they're giving us short clips but it's still a lot they having fun out there man i love this Now you go. Now we go back. Yeah. 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 Yeah
And I love when you went around and when he came inside, you came to flow. Good job. The coaching mean everything, man. That's the coach, folks. I don't what they say, student analyst, whatever they call him. They can miss you with that. Come on, pull it, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice. Lay him up. Lay him up. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down. They look in, they they look like ten times better. Man. Look how he's just standing there looking at that's what you call, he's what you call a player's coach. That's what they got. You guys, listen to me, man. Listen to me. I, I like I can't tell you like when Coach Prime went out and got him. Coach Prime knew what he was doing, man. He knew what he was doing. He's the missing link. He knew what he was doing. And then he went out and got some more. Like, how much NFL experience do you need on that coaching staff? It's crazy. It's crazy. And Coach Sal not even back yet. This is crazy, man. It's crazy, man. I'm, I love what I'm seeing, man. I mean, really enjoying this. Three the yard, Come on. Give me a three, Come, Come on. on. Let's go, Mark. Hey, find the way. Yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Let's go. Let's go. 
Hold up, man. Hold up. Hold up, man. <laughs> this this sap just line up. This sap just listen. Listen, guys. I let me tell you something. <laughs> When I took Coach Prime do it all the time, too, you know how he lines up in his stance and he get low? They get the itch. Sap is so intense right now. He can just show them straight up how to do it. You know, he get in his stance. Y'all got to do it. 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 See how he's guiding them, though? He's right there. Oh my God. Guys, let me tell you, man. He just, he just, he just elevated their game to a new level just by being there and give them a little tricks to the trade. Look at Amari McNeil, man. I'm happy for these kids, man. Coach Prime knew exactly what he was doing, he knew exactly what they needed. Man, I mean, man, he ain't give a damn what people were saying about Sap. No, nah, we needed him. I love that crack. I love that crack. There you go. Iron man. Every day. Here we go. Look, he's jogging out there with me. Yeah, that was we see that again. That was a good one. That's six. Broken the ball. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's Talking football with him right now. Yeah, he's keeping the technique. Like, got the whole. What they call them again? Player, whatever it is they call them. Yeah, negative. This man's the coach, man. He got another they got another intense coach out there. Look at him. He's a yeah, coach too. Listen, when we come out here on days like this, you gotta take full advantage of it. What's the common denominator by all these coaches? Anybody know what's the common denominator? Not that they play in the NFL. Look how intense they are. They 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 kept the intensity going. Even coach um prime is intense when he's out there. That's what they all have in common. They're intense. No, you got it. I got it. What you ain't get there? What they get there? 
Good job, three, three, six. Three, six, Mafia. <laughs> three, six, Mafia balling, baby. Yo, Coach Prime. Coach Prime. Hey, you all right? Hey. Coach Prime has zeroed him out. They zero people out. That's what he's watching them. So, three, six, um, he must be doing pretty good. And that, let me see, three, six is, let me go back up. I forgot his name. Is Nathaniel, right? No. Yeah, Nathaniel Watson. Hey, you all right today? You all right? They say you're hurting a little bit, man. All right. Stay low all day, eight. Stay low all day, eight. Get that here. There you go. Nice break. Nice break. Try not to T step, two folk. No T step. Straight ahead. There you go. 18. I like it. I like it. They say nice. Eight. Nice. Nice. Well, another thing they said, Kermani is back in practice now, too. Eight. No T step, two folk. No T step. No T step. I like it. I like it. Three six mafia you gonna get on a special team. <laughs> Three six mafia you gonna get on a special team. I'm like, wait a minute, coach. Can I can I do a little bit more than special teams, coach? I mean, don't get me wrong. I play special teams because that means I get on the plane and fly to the games. I need three six mafia on something. What three six mafia? At? Are you on a special team yet? I need three six mafia on something. I need him on something. I love the way he's working. One, one second, Coach. What Duke did was perfect, and he don't even know what he did. Tell me what you did when you was out here, and he got it to you. You collision, yeah, but you collision. Huh? He got a bond him. Most of the time, you all collision, and you high, and guess what happened? You have no weight. So he he collisioned him low. He was down. So he had his balance, and he had his weight. So he's able to move. But what happens, y'all get high at the top of the route, and the guy just run into you, and you have no balance. That's all that happened. Here we go. You're going to collision, get low. Don't sleep on coach feet. Y'all seen that footwork. Don't sleep on coach. <laughs> and I love the shades, by the way. I love the shades. <laughs> Come on, 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 come on. Okay, I love what you did. Everything was perfect. But when you break, try to go hard at that shoulder. Yes, sir. So you break it and what? You stay in here. Just go hard as you can. Your first two steps has got to be low, but go hard as you can right there. Yes, sir. And if it's this way, go hard as you can right there, all right? Yes, Jello, on, get your little mouthpiece. Get your mouthpiece for a kid to grab. Because I know that thing stink. <laughs> okay, on your break. On your break, make sure you try to get to that inside shoulder. Okay, okay, right here, and he break it right here. Try to go fast as you can to get here. That's gonna get you there. All right, I like. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I gotta get you some shades. I don't like them. Yeah, can you get me? Let me see. Let me see. You don't have a three, four, five plays, right? So we should be full speed. Ref, ref. Call everything. I want y'all to be extra aggressive, okay? Call every darn thing. Okay? Everything. Get there, get there, get there. Coach, get down, get down, get down, get down. Get down. <laughs> Why to get down? 88. 88. Come on, baby. It's your first play, right? You can't be lazy on the first play. Come on, baby. Hey, hey, seven, seven. Let's get down in there. All right. As he throw the ball, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, big fella. No, come on. You you tired? You tired, baby? Come on, why are you running? Off the field, jog it, jog it. Come on with them runs. Y'all come on, I'm with them old funky runs. Come on, Sam Sam. Let's go, baby. You don't want no smoke. I sure want some. I do want some. I want some right now, too. I want you. <laughs> oh, don't get tired. You don't get tired. Go from side to side. Don't get tired. That's what I watch them. They come along every now and then. Hey, get to the ball before I do something to you. Give me a stance. Give me a stance. Give me a stance. Formation away. Back away. Something inside, something inside, something inside. Hey, come on, come on. Let's tighten that down. Bump that. He can't get you. Bump that. 
Yeah, get down. <laughs> the Good job, Good job, 20. Good job, 20. You know no special teams, baby. Good job, 20. Hey, that's three. Jogging back. Jogging back. Jogging back. Way to run, Charlie. That's my guy. That's my guy. Coach all over the place. That's my he guy. A lot of ground, too. <laughs> go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Don't go. Don't grab it. Don't grab it. Don't grab it. Don't grab it. Off, 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 off. Hey, shallow, shallow, shallow. Come here. Come here, shallow. Get your angles together. Okay? I know that's you, though. That's you. You ain't slipping warm ups. I know you got to tell y'all to get to the ball. One thing about this group this group always get to the ball. This group always get to the ball. Let's go. They always get to the ball. Three, six, Mafia. Uh -oh. Good job, group. Good job, bro. Inside, 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 inside. There you go. Don't do that. Don't do that. Just throw it away. Throw it away, quarterback. Jump it back. You got one more. You got one more. Hey, coach, coach, how many plays they got? The bigs. The bigs. How many plays they got, coach? Okay, they got four. All right. Again, I need you to be the hammer now, not the nail. Good job, 10. Good job, 10. Give me that again. Give me that again. I need to see that. We got two guys wide open. Jump through. Jump through. Oh, no, no. Uh, stay with your man. Stay with your man. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. You, you know what he's doing for you, right? He's running into a knockout, so he put it right there so you can start. You got to sense that. <laughs> okay? That's what he's doing. What I told him is grown seeing the coverage. He ain't. He He's putting him back there so he can stop before he get knocked out, but he don't know that. That's right. Yeah. I know. That's who I am. He said, that's who I am. Nice, two four. Hey, two four. I need that on the pass. I need that same technique on the pass. That was beautiful, dog. John 99. Shane, good job, Shane. Good job, Trav. Yo, you didn't slip. You failed. Good job, Ladez. 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 Ladez is gonna keep one. He's gonna coach the heck out of one. Ten. I wish I had some, but I wish I had ten toes. Ten. If I had ten toes, I, I just want to feel. I just want to feel your chest in my hands. I just want to feel your chest in my hands off the jam. I just want a little something. I just <laughs> behind see they, they get that edge. Look, Tim, I just want to jam you, Tim. I just want a little something. Yeah. I just want a little something. Gotta get back in the hey, game. I want a little something. Hey, 13. Oh, ooh, look, he's gonna get Caleb too. 13, you look. Look at it. Coach, coach won't everybody wants something. You don't know about him. Everybody get the turn. Let's go. We ain't get up nothing. You turn. Hey, you turn like this. You had already turned. You got to stay square. You had already turned. You turned and gave it to him. Don't give it to him. Make him work through it. Nice, two six. Don't reach out. Don't reach out. I like it, but don't reach. I like it, but don't reach. You're good. Three six mafia should be moving on up like the Jeffersons, man. Uh oh. The way he bowling. Uh oh. Three six mafia. Three six mafia been bowling, baby. Why y'all? He, he, he zeroed in on three six mafia. Plan. I'm gonna get you on the special team. What you gonna do with it? What you gonna do with it now? I'm gonna get you on the special teams now. What you gonna do with it? What you gonna do with it, huh? I'm gonna prove I should be on there. All right, make some plays. Ba, ba, ba. Said, All right, now three six mile. I'm gonna get you on the special ba, ba. teams now. Bob, 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 Bob. You got that, Shallow? Shallow, you gotta break on that. You gotta go get that. Hey, hey, you read it. You read it, but you gotta go get it. You read it, but go get it. Come on, Bob. Hey, Bob. On the release, say if they go in quick, you can't really get your hands on them. How can you not? Why? Right. Say they go underneath quick. Quick? Yes, sir. What was the split? Oh, I was head up. What was his split? Oh, he was kind of thin tight. Well, you already know. Yeah. <laughs> if he tight, you already know. Yes, sir. All right. Yes. Be aggressive. Be aggressive, eh? Be aggressive. I don't mind you back off down here. Make it work. Back off. Make it work. Hey, hey, hey. You see that motion? You see that motion? 
Okay, okay. You gotta look at the play, man. Look at everything. When that motion went away, that's gonna tell you he coming in. All right, they can't go motion away that he run out. Yes, All right, look at the whole formation. Look at the formation. Four, go four, go four. Um, information. Oh, we beat back here. We beat, we beat, we beat. You gotta come out of there. Come out of there. You gotta come out that thing. Ten. Come out that thing. Ten. Hey, come here, guys. Come here. Hey, y'all talk to each other. Y'all say anything? No, we in, the, we in the same level. Levels. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm trying to save them because y'all on the same level. So what y'all think gonna happen? So y'all got somebody gonna get up, somebody gonna get off, man. Y'all camp. Y'all camp. When it's down here, Mr. Preston, when it's down here, make them work. Back it on up, make them work. Oh yeah, I'm six miles. That's what I'm saying. Make it work. But step back, make them work. Is this gonna happen within five to seven? It's gonna happen within five to seven. You got to back to you so you may get some in. You got to back to you. Watch that back. That back going to tell you what to do. Can I get the receiver, coach? Everybody else get some. Can I get some? I want the receiver, coach. <laughs> Whatever you're doing that, you run at him. Yeah. I was scripted. That's why. Yeah, I, I know. I know. I know. I no, but scripted. if you want, you just what tell I'm me what you want. When it's like that, just run it again because what that does. All right, guys. But that was good, man. I really enjoyed the um, the practice. I really enjoyed it. Um, Sap and you see Sap and Coach Prime, they're very intense. Um, I love every minute of this practice, man. Shout out to um, whoever idea it was to put Coach Prime in first person. And who I did was to focus on Sap. I'm, I'm glad they focus on Sap because you see how he stayed. Him, the coaches are helping these kids, not just Prime and um, Sap, but all the coaches. Oh man! But anyway, um, if you're watching, I appreciate you. Um, please like, comment, share, subscribe. You know I'll be back with another reaction pretty soon, guys. See you on the next one. Peace.